What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 18 of Autodesk Fusion. So we're working on something interesting today. Uh, if we're doing some part files that have some lifelike quality to them, what we're going to do is take pictures from the internet or pictures you've even taken and then throw those on our part files. So this uh, stop image right here is something I pulled from the internet and along with this concrete texture right here. So let uh, me save this part first. Now let's call this day 18 and we're going to use decal and uh, textures today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our new part. There we go. Uh, I was freezing up on me a quick second. So uh, first thing we do is a polygon. That polygon is going to be a eight sided figure. Let's go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger. So let's make it 100 uh, by and with eight sides. There we go. Because all stop signs, to my knowledge, have eight sides. I'm going to go ahead and give it just a little bit of thickness. That way um, our stop sign exists. Now you could go through here and make text and make a bunch of other things, but I'm going to go the easy way out and decal. So insert decal from my computer and I'm going to take my download and tell which face we want that picture to go on. You might have to orient it uh, and stretch it to make it fit, but uh, nevertheless, here we go. Now, I'm willing to bet the back side of this looks a little funky. Let's check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And yes, it does. So what this is doing is taking your picture and wrapping it around the back side of that part. Uh, what I'm going to do here is click on my timeline. And I'm going to unclick chain faces. So it means that texture, is, that picture is only going to go to that face and it won't wrap around the object. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then let's go ahead and make the stem of our stop sign here. And so I'm just going to do a circle real quick, find the center, and 10 millimeters should be fine. Go ahead and hit finish sketch, and let's extrude that circle out to some distance where we like it. We don't want too short of a stop sign because nobody would see it. Okay. And then at the end of that, what I'm also going to do is create a concrete boot for my stop sign. Alrighty. Hit finish sketch. And uh, let's go ahead and extrude this out. Oh, let's include that little piece there too. Okay. And there we go. So what I've got now so far is my stop sign. But what if I want to take uh, a real life texture and also put that on that as well? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create, or sorry, decal again, but I'm gonna use a different texture, concrete. And this one I want to wrap around. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to stretch this image until it wraps all the way around. Uh, and you notice it's gonna start creeping up other parts where I don't want it to. And so you're gonna have to play a little bit of a, of a game here on what does it look like to have this stretch and go all the way around and not go up parts you want it to. Now, it'll take maybe a second or two before we get this just right. Uh, and so I'm gonna bring this down just a hair. Almost there. And let's try just a hair more. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, now this isn't looking quite right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna decal again. Uh, so let's decal, insert from a computer, concrete on that face again. And we're just gonna gift wrap it all the way around until we get to a point where our concrete texture, our concrete boot looks like the way it's supposed to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we got. We made a stop sign with a concrete boot using pictures from real life. Okay, guys, so that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.